Hello everybody, Swaminath here. Today we are going to see interview questions between SAP SD S4 HANA, SAP SD ECC. They may ask you what is the major difference in SD and ECC, S4 HANA and ECC in SAP SD. Okay, the first one we are going to see is if they ask you, you can say all these questions, all these answers. Okay, the first is BP transaction code. BP transaction code in S4 HANA and in a in ECC, it is XD01, XD02, XD03. It is ECC. ECC. XD01, XD02, and XD03. Okay. I am going to show you in ECC. This is ECC. Okay. XD01. Okay. This is how, this is where you create customer in ECC. Okay, this is where you create customer in ECC. But whereas, this is my S4 HANA. See here, this is my S4 HANA. S4 HANA. Okay, this is my S4 HANA. Okay, you go, you create customer in BP transaction. BP, here where you create transaction, customer in BP transaction code in S4 HANA. This is first difference. Next difference. Second one. So no MIGO. No MB1B, MB1A, MB1C in S4 HANA. Everything will be done in MIGO itself. Let me show you in S4 HANA. Let me enter MB1A. See here, it is obsolete. MB1B. This is S4 HANA. Obsolete. It's outdated. MB1C. MB. 1C. It's outdated. See? But whereas in ECC, let me show you in ECC. Let me go to ECC. Here it is. MB1A. It's available. Okay. MB1B is available. Okay. Slash and MB1C is available in ECC. But whereas in S4 HANA, all these transaction codes are outdated transaction codes. Okay. So everything in MB1A, MB1B, MB1C will be done in MIGO transaction code in S4 HANA. This is S4 HANA. This is S4 HANA. MIGO transaction code. Everything will be done in MIGO transaction. Now minimize this. Let me go to the next one. Third one. See, VBO1. Rebates. Rebates. Rebates is VBO1. BBO1, major one, is available in ECC. This is ECC. Rebet, create rebate agreement. This is ECC. But whereas in S4 HANA, no BBO1, BBO2, BBO3. BBO1, BBO no BBO1. Outdated. BBO2, S4 HANA, it's outdated only. Okay. Everything they brought it in WCOCO transaction code. Rebates can be created in this is S4 HANA. WCOCO. Okay. Contract rebate agreement. You can create it here. Sales rebate. See here. Sales rebate. You can you have to create it in WCOCO transaction in S4 HANA. This is S4 HANA. Okay. This is third one. Fourth one is. Fourth one. Fourth one. FT32. This is credit management. Credit management FT32. Okay. In ECC, this is ECC. Come back. FT32 is available. Wherein you can create customer credit limit. You, you, you will be able to create it here. See it? But in S4 HANA, I am going to S4 HANA system. This is my S4 HANA. FT32. It's not available. See? It's not available. Okay. It's not available. But whereas in BP transaction code itself, they have brought it. They have brought it in BP transaction code. Let me enter my customer number. Customer number. This is my customer number. Okay. Let me change it. See, this 
see UKM001. So here itself, you can create the conditions for credit management. See here, credit management. But whereas in ECC, you have to do it in, this is ECC. You have to do it in FT32. FT32 is outdated. It's outdated, FT32. These are all the major changes in SAP ECC and S4 hard. These are the major changes. You can tell them in the interview. They may definitely ask you what is the major changes they have made in S4 HANA with respect to ECC and what is the difference between ECC and S4 HANA. You can say all this. Thank you.